listen to this. This is talking about a person I call the tree shaker. And you've heard me talk about this before. This is a person who goes up to the tree, climbs way up in the tree, and takes a lot of risk uh, uh, to, to shake the tree and, and gets the best fruit from the very top of the tree, you know, where the sun shines and it's the ripest piece of fruit. He goes way up there and shakes it down. And those on the ground, I call fruit gatherers, they're there waiting to pick it up and to enjoy the fruits of the tree shaker's labor. And I'm not going to read the whole epilogue, just a couple of paragraphs. After all of this risk taking, going out every day and, and shaking the tree and everything, uh, as time went by, the tree shaker began to question why he kept climbing up into the trees to shake the fruit to the ground for everyone else, but received so little in return for his tireless efforts. He also felt guilty for taking the risk of climbing the trees and doing so much good for others, only to have so little for his family when he returned home. Was it all worth it? Has, has he been a fool all along? Were the others just using him for their personal gain? He assumed, and rightly so, that the black people who benefited from his tree shaking would at least drop by and offer him some of their fruit. They never came. He knew that those who were eating because of his work, enjoying a better life because of the risk he took, and those who have risen to a higher status should be beating a path to his door. He knew that. Not only to thank him for his work, but also to share with him some of their fruit. They didn't come. One day, the tree shaker got his wake-up call. He decided it was futile to think that selfish fruit gatherers would change their ways. He came to the full realization that they had indeed been using him. They used his consciousness because they had none. They used his backbone because they were spineless. They used his temerity because they were reticent. They use his hope because they were apathetic. They use his strength because they were weaklings. They use his uprightness because they were only willing to lie down. They use his boisterousness because they would only whisper. They use his anger because they were timid. They use his love because they were haters. They use his guts because they were cowards. They finally used him up. Now the tree shaker looks back on his life and has to admit that he did not do everything he should have for his own immediate family. His work put a huge strain on his queen who picked up and carried the load caused by the lack of reciprocity from those who gained so much from the tree shaker's work. Coming home tired and worn out from a long day of shaking trees, but with very little to show for his labor, the tree shaker retires to a quiet place and cries in secret. He sheds tears for his family. He cries for his people. He weeps for other tree shakers who have died on their way to freedom. He grieves for the millions of black children who face a dismal future as they continue to suffer from political disparity and a general lack of fruit as, as a result of the selfishness of the relative few black people who have an abundance of fruit, but will not share it. The tree shaker prays for his family, for his people, and for himself. Why do we have that kind of scenario that exists among so many of our people? We can go down the list, we can call the role of tree shakers in our history, all the way up until today, and see that there are people who are willing to lay it on the line for black people. There are black people who are willing to lay it on the line for black people. Call the roll. You know the names, just like I do. Suppose they had quit. Suppose they had said, uh, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'll just quit. Where would we be? Those of us who love to invoke their names now. We love to call their names. We have streets named after them and all of this. But we don't do what they, we're not willing to do what they did. And we, don't have to do, we don't have to do it in the same form. But there's something, as I said earlier, that each of us can do. Why do we have 
so many people who are willing to sit back and reap the rewards of folks like this, like the tree shaker, with a total lack of reciprocity. And how can these folks, like I said, how can they sleep at night? 